Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Good morning and happy Tuesday. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Brandon Libby. Now, temperatures are gradually warming here throughout the rest of this week, but that doesn't mean we're going to avoid the wintry sort of weather or precipitation. Today, a chance for some light snow and maybe a few flurries. We'll catch a break tomorrow with mostly sunny skies, and then on Thursday morning, a chance for a little bit of a wintry mix. Notice threat tracker is all green here because the impacts are still to be determined with that Thursday round. And today I don't think we're going to see a whole lot of accumulation, maybe just a dusting for some of us. But you'll see on future track here we have the cloud cover this morning. That's actually starting to increase our temperatures from the single digits, which we had right around midnight. Snow will likely try to work its way in around 8 or 9 a.m. and that will continue into about the mid afternoon hour, say 3 or 4 p.m. Notice how spotty it looks here. It's going to have to fight through a lot of dry air, and so I think a lot of it will not survive and reach the ground. Some of it might, and we might see a few flurries or light snow showers, but uh, won't add up to a whole lot. Then tonight we're seeing mostly cloudy skies. They will decrease, though, heading into tomorrow morning, and it looks like we'll see some sunshine here for the day on Wednesday. But as far as amounts go, again, just an isolated dusting in spots. I don't anticipate any travel problems from that. Now, Thursday morning, slick spots will be possible, but there's a few details that we're still keeping an eye on. One detail is how much moisture will we see? Will it be uh, like this? And then the second question mark is going to be, where will that moisture be? Will it be right over eastern Iowa like you see here? This is a snapshot from Future Track. And uh, the biggest thing is going to be the temperatures. Will they be at or below freezing in the morning? And if they are, we could see maybe a few snow showers in the north where you see the pinks and possibly a chance for a wintry mix, including some freezing rain, which is never a good thing for the morning commute time frame. But then temperatures should warm up quickly into the 40s by the afternoon. So we're going to keep a close eye on that one. Now, Friday, a wintry mix pushes back in by Friday night. That's transitioning over to snow. Significant snowfall possible for parts of the viewing area and for parts of the Midwest, I should say. It all depends on the track of this low pressure system. It's a very classic looking system, though. It comes in from the southwest, and so by Friday afternoon, a bit of rain potentially in our southern counties. Snowfall where it's a little cooler off to the north. And as we work our way through Friday evening into Friday night, we get that double whammy of cold temperatures and uh, heavy precipitation. So that could fall in the form of some heavy snow there in the northwest. And that trend will continue through the overnight hours of Friday into Saturday. I think by Saturday morning, a lot of that is going to begin to push out and we'll see plenty of sunshine for the weekend. But how much snow will fall? That's going to be the question. It all depends on temperatures and the track of the system. But what it looks like right now, the greatest potential for significant snowfall will be north of Highway 20, including some of our northern counties. And then that will continue to extend into northwest Iowa, southern Minnesota, and parts of Wisconsin. The further south you go, where temperatures are going to be a little warmer, there's a lower potential for snowfall, but it's not a 0% chance. So it's obviously a few days out. We'll keep a close eye on it. Stay tuned to the forecast. But here's what we have for today. High temperatures will be in the mid to upper 20s with a breezy south wind. Just a 20% chance for light snow. Then tonight down into the low and mid teens, we'll see clouds eventually decreasing as winds shift back to the northwest. Here's your city by city forecast 30s for tomorrow with that sunshine and then 40s by Thursday afternoon after that morning round of a wintry mix. And in your 10 day forecast, even if we do get some snow on Friday, things look pretty mild. We're going to be mostly sunny for the weekend with temperatures back to 44 on Sunday next week, primarily in the 50s as we'll see plenty of sunshine.